This time I have prepared a list of the top 10 most exotic pets in the world for you. Before I go on, I would ask you to share this video on your Facebook profile by using the share button. The animals on this list are pretty fascinating and your friends are sure to love them. Are cats, dogs, hamsters or canaries exotic pets? I wouldn't say so, but not to worry. It's time to take a look at the top 10 most exotic pets in the world. Exotic pet number 10, the servo. The African mid-sized wild cat servo can be an incredible exotic pet, however, these beautiful cats aren't for everyone. Noticeable by their large ears and freckled golden yellowish hair, they are very active, but also rather shy. They will pay extra attention and take their time to form a bond with their owner. Why are servos not for everybody? That this cat is not like any other is also confirmed by the fact that you have to spend much more money on one. Although they catch many people's eyes, these beauties can very much hurt your wallet. They are the most expensive cats in the world. If you are planning on owning a servo, you need to have a large, safe pet house and ensure they are warm year-round. They will have to feed on whole prey and require an expert veterinarian's care. Exotic pets are a huge risk. It's important to mention that owning a wild animal comes with significant risks. In many places, owning a servo is illegal and even where they are permitted, the owners need to hold a valid license and submit to regular inspections. The smartest thing you can do, check your local laws before deciding on a life with a beautiful and exotic servo. Exotic pet number 9, the chinchilla. These famous little rodents are most known for their fur. They are very playful, active and can be very tame. Chinchillas are nocturnal animals, their activity reaches its peak at the dawn and dusk. Seeing as they are so active and playful, chinchillas require a spacious cage with plenty of room to exercise as well as daily playing. High temperatures cause more problems to a chinchilla than low ones. Owners should take care to ensure that chinchillas aren't getting too hot. Do the chinchilla quickly get used to its owner? It's necessary to be patient and gentle with chinchillas. They need a bit of time to get used to you and start trusting you. Chinchillas have specific dietary needs that differ from those of other rodents. What are they? They require high quality food specifically made for chinchillas to stay healthy. They need a lot of solid food and the diet should generally consist of high quality hay grass. Exotic pet number 8, the kinkajou. This sweet mammal comes from the raccoon family. They have a long body and tail, big eyes and small, rounded ears. Kinkajous are nocturnal tree dwellers, spending most of their time in rainforest canopies. Kinkajous as pets? Yes, and increasingly so. Why? Even Paris Hilton had some of these cute pets as her company. The rich and famous aren't the only ones who consider these animals pleasant. However, the decision to take care of a kinkajou is not one to be taken lightly. These animals demand a very particular owner. Although the care they require is similar to dogs or cats, a very few veterinarians come into contact with them. Finding a person who has experience with kinkajous is a priority to ensure your pet remains happy and healthy. What's the price of these nocturnal creatures? If you decide that the kinkajou is the right choice for you, expect to pay $1,500 to $3,000 for one of them. A kinkajou in the wild eats fruit and honey. Sometimes they will feed on insects, eggs and frogs along with other plants and flowers. If you keep one as a pet, you can feed them monkey biscuits as well as various fruits such as bananas, mangoes, papayas or kiwis. Some kinkajous are reportedly allergic to strawberries, so it's best to avoid them. Exotic pet number 7, the alpaca. Although most people have heard of these sweet animals by now, few of them know that alpacas are increasingly sought after pets. Alpacas are domesticated animals of the camel family. Alpacas are very sociable, sensitive and smart. Bye bye allergies, alpacas are here to help you. Alpaca fleece is very soft and fluffy. Alpaca fibers have no lanolin or other allergens. Does alpaca fleece have any other advantages in comparison to wool? No matter whether you want to hug an alpaca or make a blanket out of their fleece, you likely won't suffer from rashes, itchiness or other symptoms of allergies. This fleece is also water resistant making it a warmer alternative to cotton and a wider option than sheep wool. Alpacas as large kitty cats, why not? 
The traits and behavior of alpacas are pretty similar to cats. Once you've gained their trust, they will allow you to cuddle and pet them, and even hug them. They tend to be very friendly, especially with children. Do you want an alpaca at home? Although it's difficult to resist them after learning of their astonishing characteristics, you have to part with anything from $250 to $50,000 for a chance to befriend one long term. Of course, the price depends on many factors such as age, fiber quality, look, and personality. Have you already shared the video on Facebook? If not, you surely will, since the best is yet to come! If you've liked the video so far, I invite you to subscribe and join the other pet lovers! Exotic pet number 6, the Desert Fox The Desert Fox, also known as the Fennec, is a small fox native to Sahara Desert and North Africa. The Fennec Fox is a friendly animal with a great offensive mechanism. They are roughly 15 inches in size, they have a tail and distinctive big ears that are about 6 inches long. Those beautiful big ears afford them excellent hearing capabilities. How do desert foxes act as pets? Although their behavior is similar to that of a dog, one should take care while socializing them since they are not domesticated animals. If you decide to adopt one of these animals, prepare to spend thousands of dollars on one, as well as inform yourself in your country's laws on ownership. What do desert foxes eat? In the wild, they are omnivores, their diet consists of insects, rodents, plants, fruits, and reptiles. However, most owners will feed them with a mix of dog food, cat food, fruits, and vegetables, with quite some success. Energy is the Fennec Fox's second name. They are physically active animals, and they need a release for their energy. They are curious, and will explore every little nook and cranny. Desert foxes are also known for their digging. Don't chip out if you're building a fence. Given enough motivation, these foxes can dig holes of up to 20 feet deep. Exotic pet number 5, the Exolado. The Exolado is an endangered amphibian in the sweet waters of the southern part of North America. For people inexperienced with exotic pets, this is the perfect pet. Still, if you decide to get an Exolado, there are some things you should know. You won't find Exolados in typical pet stores since they require conditions different from most other lizards and snakes. However, they are widely available from private breeders and exolado enthusiasts. A 10 gallon aquarium should be sufficient for a single exolado, but since they tend to make a lot of mess, you might decide to go for a bigger one. How big is average exolado? Exolados are 9 inches long. Exolados are carnivores. Although they eat meat, you should avoid feeding them live fish so as not to introduce contaminants into the exolado tank. You can also feed them bloodworm cubes. If you feel like you want to give them a treat, trying frozen brine shrimp might be a good idea. Your exolado will be a trusty friend as long as you keep him well fed, according to exolado enthusiasts. Watching an exolado at home can be a real pleasure. Exotic pet number 4, the capybara. The capybara is the largest living rodent species in the world. They are semi-aquatic mammals. Capybaras are short-haired brown rodents with flat noses, short legs, small ears, and almost without any tail. Although they are sometimes called giant guinea pigs, they are not as easy to care for as their small relatives. Capybaras are usually household pets. They mostly come in groups, but naturally they are not legal to own everywhere. These smart, friendly animals are relatively pleasant pets, but they do have some specific needs. What is the size of these sociable rodents? Their body is usually around 23 inches long and their weight 80 to 150 pounds, although the record is 200 pounds. Oh yes, they require plenty of space! Since they make for pretty sizable pets, you should ensure they have a lot of space as well as a pool filled with water at least 35 inches deep. They are friendly animals and you should pair them up with another capybara. In nature alone, they eat 3 to 6 plant species. The most frequent ingredient in a pet capybara's diet should be a high quality hay grass. It's available in many pet stores and large animal shops, and you should give it to them in large quantities. What follows are the top 3 most exotic pets in the world? Let's take a look! Exotic pet number 3, the common Janet. This mammal can be found all over Africa, parts of the Middle East, and even Europe. Janets are becoming increasingly popular exotic house pets due to their gorgeous pets and unique behavior. Why? 
They're quick, agile and handsome creatures that require special care. For the right owner, they can be remarkably fun pets. If you've never seen a Janet, tickle a kitten with the face of a wild animal, a cheetah's spots and a lemur's tail. They are quite beautiful, but they are not always friendly pets. Your Janet should have a large, safe area for himself. A large cage for wild animals is the best option since they come equipped with multiple levels for them to climb. It's also difficult to break out of them. Janets also require a few hours of play outside their cage, daily. Janets with other pets. Not the best idea, Janets don't get along well with other pets in the house. If you want the best chance at forming a bond with your Janet, owners advise not having any other pets in the house with them. The recommendation is to feed them in their cage to avoid an accidental bite of a Janet feeling in danger while eating. Exotic pet number 2, the sugar glider. These small, cute and unique animals are popular exotic pets. Of course, a potential owner needs to be familiar with the sugar glider's personality and how to care for them. Owning a sugar glider is a long-term responsibility that requires a great deal of attention, space as well as a particular diet. If you want to have a friendly sugar glider, frequent interaction with them is vital, this way they should remain playful and fun. Sweet but dangerous. They have sharp teeth and nails. Although they are not aggressive, they will bite if you frighten them. As pets, sugar gliders have pretty specific dietary needs. Dietary imbalances due to inappropriate amounts of calcium and phosphorus are a frequent occurrence. Luckily, you can easily prevent those problems with a well-balanced diet. And now for the most exotic pets in the world. Ready? The most exotic pet in the world is the Valeru. Valerus, just like kangaroos and wallabies, are members of the Macropodidae family, meaning large food. Kangaroos are the largest, with wallabies being the smallest. Valerus are a mid-sized mammals with large feet that carry their young in their pouch. Same as kangaroos, they stand on their hind legs, eat with their front paws and carry their young in a pouch. Male valerus can weigh between 45 and 100 pounds, while females are usually 40 to 45 pounds. Although it's unusual to own a Valeru in the United States, many people have heard of them. It's essential to check your country's laws and regulation on exotic pet ownership. Valerus in the apartment? Very difficult! If you live in an apartment, a Valeru is probably not the best choice of pet. Valerus require a large amount of space. Keeping a Valeru in an enclosed space is a big challenge. If you are considering keeping a Valeru in your home, you will need diapers for them. You should also keep them away from any fragile objects. Valerus are like balls in a china shop thanks to their tendency to jump. Does the Valeru seem like the perfect choice of a new friend? Not so fast! Take your time to think about the decision. Caring for Valerus can be very expensive. Expect to pay anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000 for your pet as well as additional investment in a fence should you need one. Feeding them would also cost you $200 to $400 per month. If you are looking for a unique new pet, these exotic creatures might be the right option for you. They are not only beautiful but also quite extraordinary and are loved by animal enthusiasts the world over. If you found the video intriguing, I would like to ask you one last time to share this video with your friends on Facebook and other social networks. Please also consider subscribing and joining the other animal lovers. Alright, so you've seen the top 10 most exotic pets in the world, but the world is so big. If you know of any other exotic pets or you would like to comment on a specific animal or you have a suggestion, please leave a comment below the video. Would you like to see more? In the description, I have prepared links to videos of the top 10 most loyal, smartest, deadliest, most beautiful, smallest dog breeds in the world and many more. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please click the like button and subscribe to not miss any new videos in the future. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!